Morning everyone. Oh gosh, wet Wednesday. This is a wet Wednesday. Um, so another, another solo day for me today. Dan's back tomorrow. Um, and I think we've got an MX-5 booked in today. Um, wanna say it's a Mark 1. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's a Mark 1. And we've got a Pioneer 160 to put in it. So it's simple lead, won't be steering controls on a Mark 1. Um, yeah, Pioneer 160. Uh, and then we're jumping back on with a chaser. I want to carry on building the stuff, make another frame for the crossovers the other side. Um, hopefully my nut inserts, my thread inserts will come today from Amazonia. But I can start making the frame up. And then we've got to look at some kind of battery tie down. So that doesn't yeet itself out when we're driving. Uh, and it's pretty much like start putting the thing back together. Um, obviously the wiring is already done other than I need to run a power cable down to the front. So I've got my split charge system. Oh, I've got to do the split charge wiring. So we've got to get the relay in um, and the extra power into the little distribution battery that will run all the LEDs. We've got to do that. But there's enough to do. We should crack on. Um, and then that's that one buttoned up. And then we need to make a concerted effort with the Lotus to get that started and cleaned and then built. But I'm gonna go off to the shop, get a coffee, start the day. It's a wet start. We've got a few storms coming in towards the end of this week and stuff. It's gonna be quite wet. But it's England, we don't expect anything different. Nearly spring. <laughs> Nearly spring. See you in a bit. Morning everyone, let me just uh, turn this down a second. So we've had a bit of a late start. Last time I forgot what time he had to be in, but he's here now. Uh, so we've got little patchwork MX-5, old school, Mark 1. Uh, this one has uh, a bit of a <laughs> Bluetooth speaker going on in the back because that's not fitted correctly in there. So we've got a radio to do in this. So we're doing a 160 DAB Pioneer. Um, yeah, good old MX-5s. So we get the center trim out and then start taking off the top piece, get a 160 in it, and then crack on with the rest of the day. Chaser stuff. See you in a bit. No. 
All right, everyone, we're just shutting up for the end of today. Let me just turn this down. Oh, what a day I've had. So, um, we've got one of the panels in as a test fit and then started cutting up the other one. So here is one of them, looking all pretty. Uh, and then I started this one, as you probably see from the time lapse, this muggins. I cut, put this on top of the panel, my crossover plate, looks like that. Put that on top of the panel, marked around it, customer then phoned me, I come back to the panel, cut out said line, <laughs> which was the edge, not the bit that I wanted to cut out. So yes, you've just watched me repair my own mistake. What a bell end. So <clears throat> the silicon, the board to support the amp rack at the back, We've got our new nut certs delivered, so we've got some nut certs in there, which are gonna house my bolts and washers, which are just here. And then the silicon is to hide, obviously, the countersinking of the screw and the gap that I've just created that I didn't really want, idiot. So back to the normal size, just gonna let this dry overnight and then I'll wipe this down. We can trim that side, put the LEDs in, job done. Screw the thing on the back, happy days. And then I will be starting probably the amp section. Let's do that next. Probably do the amp because that's the next thing that needs a lot of work doing to it. Carbon fiber, of course, of course. And then the sub bit, which is kind of the easiest one. I've got to lift off this lower plate, make a ridge around the side to mount the LED, and then we'll have the and it'll it will be it will be tickety boo. But a bit of a wasted day after finishing the MX-5. Because I, I did an Alex. <coughs> it's not like me to do that. But yes, I cut the wrong piece. <laughs> Idiot. Anyway, that's it for uh, a Wednesday. Dan is back from Hull, so he just popped in to come and see me. He, um, he bought me a little present. Let me show you the present. Because he knows I love him. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> um, yes, we do suffer from seagulls in this area that like to poop on things. And I'm not a fan. Um, so he brought me back a little fluffy one. Thank you very much. But I'm knackered, my head's buzzing. I've fixed my mistake, which I'm happy about. Because I am a big fan of symmetry, and if I'd have got that wrong, the time it took to mold that panel in, um, there was no way I was cutting another one and doing the same thing again. The repair seemed like the easier option. Uh, rather than trying to cut a new piece and heat it and bend it and flex it, it's taken, dare I say, it, it's taken weeks to get that to a point that I'm happy with and I'm not about to start again. Um, so the repair is best of a shit situation. But there you go, even, even professionals make mistakes. <laughs> what are you gonna do, eh? Ah, right, I'm gonna get home. Um, Faith has just messaged me asking when daddy's coming back. So 
They're either running riot and wifey's keep pulling her hair out, or the kids are bored and need some, need some attention. So we'll continue again tomorrow. We've got a bit of a busy day on. Lots of stuff happening, but I'll catch you all in the morning. See you in a bit.